Well, I think what's important to, to note at first is the Ontario Professional Firefighters Association's policy on hours of work is simply that firefighters should not work more than 42 hours a week on average. And uh, the OPFFA has not taken an official position on a 24-hour shift cycle or any of the other uh, shift cycles that our members are engaged in across the province. But specifically to your question, what we've found out across Ontario, and I can only speak for Ontario, is uh, memberships have uh, mandated their, their leadership to either look at the benefits of a 24-hour shift or try to secure one through uh, local negotiations. The, uh, the desire, I believe, from the membership has been pretty consistent. They're looking for a healthier uh, work cycle and looking for a better balance between their professional and personal lives. Windsor is really the only one who's working uh, more than 42 hours a week uh, on the 24-hour shift. So those who have recently negotiated have maintained a 42-hour week, work week. And um, you know, what I found in, in the longer shifts, because uh, I have personally worked a 10 and 14 split for 20 years of my career, and I'm now in my sixth year of working a 24-hour shift. So I've had you know, a decent amount of experience in, in both regards. And professionally, I believe that uh, training has been enhanced uh, on a daily basis with uh, on-shift training. Uh, operationally, there's some efficiencies with respect to the 24-hour shift for quicker uh, implementation of new equipment, new procedures and policies. And overall, I believe there's better crew cohesion, which has resulted in better teamwork. And teamwork is a critical part of what we do. Well, I have had a chance to review the uh, Fire Chief study, and it does largely focus on many other occupations working beyond a 16-hour day and citing some of these uh, health risks. But one of the other conclusions within that study is the effects of working consecutive nights as well, which has been a concern raised by our membership. Uh, there's been a great focus within this study on sleep deprivation issues, and there has been one other study it done in Ontario on Ontario Firefighters, uh, Toronto Fire Services with Dr. Linda Glasner that focused on uh, sleep and circadian rhythm with firefighters and it found positive effects of the 24-hour shift. So uh, we're certainly encouraged uh, by that study, the results of statistical data that's been gleaned from a variety of departments in their uh, initial surveys, reduction of sick time, reduction of workplace injuries, and overall better health. So uh, certainly the goal needs to be looking at which, what shift does work here. Uh, we believe the 24-hour shift does have some positives combined with things like a wellness fitness initiative will go a long way and we would hope that the fire chiefs in Ontario would join us in that advocacy. Mm -hmm.